Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ike here. Uh, don't mind me, it's a bit bright out at the moment. Um, just walking down to the bus stop. I uh, thought I'd show you guys around number. I've been a... Uh, sorry, there's a truck. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about the lack of content lately. I've just been super busy with uh, uni, which which I predicted. So uh, yeah, I, th I, I might be putting this video up before my old video, so I, I apologize in advance, but I mean, I want to get like new content up for you as soon as possible, so thank you for being patient. Um, but today I'm meeting up with some friends from the other, they're, they're staying at a different dorm, so I've got to meet them at the station. Um, but we're heading into Nanbo. The other day I went with my friend Kristen and uh, actually came across a really cool part of Nanbo that I've never been to before. So uh, I thought I'd show you guys there today because I think we're going back there. Uh, I'm playing tour guide today because this is like my fifth time back to Osaka this like this time being in Japan so um, yeah follow me around today guys hope you enjoy the content so yeah thanks guys for following me around and uh, being patient and yeah I'll try and get these uh, videos up for you as soon as possible I'll see you soon first time to Osaka and Japan, we thought we would stop by Central Nanba and Dotenbori to check out the uh, Glicoman sign, as well as surrounding areas and food stalls. It was fairly busy here today, it was a Saturday after all, but uh, this part of town in particular is popular with tourists as you can see. It's a uh, must see for anyone wishing to come to Japan. Dotenbori has many lanes and streets just filled to the brim with food stalls and restaurants. Osaka is known for its takoyaki. These little balls of heaven are very popular and very cheap. I recommend going to the place with the giant octopus on the roof and the obnoxiously loud music about takoyaki blaring from the speakers. It's always busy, but the service is fast and you can get a set of eight for about $5 Australian. Sweet lord, these were good. We even stumbled across a small temple called Hozenji Temple. It was so peaceful and smelt of beautiful burning incense. Ah, the wonders of Japan. Who'd have thought putting a holy temple in the middle of a bustling city centre was a good idea? I love it. There was even a kitty which everyone was obsessed with getting photos. He loved the attention though. We then set off to find the second hand store I went to the other day in Nipponbashi. This part of number wasn't as crowded thank god so it made for a really nice walk. Nipponbashi, also known as Denden Town or Denki no Machi, is located in Nanba, just east of Nankai Nanba Station. This station is huge, so if you get lost, there are maps almost everywhere, or I'm sure someone will be nice enough to point you out in the right direction. It is known for its array of unique, low-cost electronic boutiques, video game arcades, as well as tax and duty-free stores. But recently it has become a paradise for otaku-related cultures such as anime and manga, which I am definitely not complaining about. It is often compared with Akihabara in Tokyo, or Akiba for short. From figurines and DVDs to being served coffee at a maid cafe, if you're looking to buy something in particular, I can almost guarantee somewhere in Nipponbashi will have it. I recommend putting aside an entire day though, just so you'll have enough time to explore each and every store that is of interest to you. And then when the video game arcades inevitably draw you in to spend more money, you can try and win yourself one of these cute critters. Or you could just watch these crazy teens on the taiko drums. Just a quick warning to my car buddies back home. What I'm about to show you does not give you the right to kill me for finding such awesomeness. I mean, if you're nice I'll share, I promise. Maybe. <laughs> but first, let us bask in this sweet melody. God, I miss that. Welcome to Heaven on Earth.
has disappointed me about living in Kobe is that there isn't all that many modified cars getting around. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful place to live and I love it, but yeah, Osaka wins my heart every time. some pretty awesome stuff so I'll do a haul later on for you uh, but yeah we're gonna have some lunch now and I'll see you soon I think I'm going to get the ginger firing of the pig <laughs> There's no better way to end a whole day of exploring than to sit on top of a skyscraper in the middle of the city. Coffee in hand, enjoying the little things in life. Good views, good company. I wouldn't want it any other way. Hey guys, so I'm finally back home after a really, really long day. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't really get much footage of like talking or anything. I, uh, I always feel a bit awkward when I'm with my friends. I, I'm not sure what their views are on like filming them and whatever. So, um, but I, th I think I got you some pretty good footage today. Um, but yes, I'm finally back in my room and I kind of went a bit crazy today, as you can see. So uh, yeah, I'll do a quick uh, haul video for you guys and show you what I got today. So the first thing I actually got was um, a power adapter, like a got that and then it's got like one two I think five oh no oh it's just three three uh like power adapter thing um I got that from Softmap in uh what was it number and um yeah so uh, the other day I bought a tv <laughs> you guys don't know that but uh yeah because I haven't been vlogging lately and I don't even know what I've filmed and haven't filmed but yeah I bought a tv the other day um from Softmap they're uh part of I think they're like an offcut of Bickle camera it's like the same company but um they specialize in secondhand stuff so I got a nice little tv for pretty cheap actually um works out to be about a hundred dollars Australian and it's like immaculate like it was still in the box and everything but I guess I don't know the person bought it and then didn't want it I, I have no idea so um, yeah it's actually getting delivered should be here on Monday um, so yeah that's exciting so got one of those because I plan on playing Nintendo 64 which uh, yeah, I actually don't think I've told you about that either. Um, yes, I did get an N64. Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll show you guys now because I, I think that deserves to be uh, in, in this whole video, even though I didn't get it today, but I'll show you how immaculate this is. One sec. Check out this baby. <laughs> I mean, it's got like a few surface scratches, but like, come on, for how, how old is this console? Like probably up to like 18 years old or something like that and yeah it's pretty good condition for uh, such an old console and um for the price i got it for which was five thousand yen guys seriously five thousand yen um in australian dollars that's roughly about 50 bucks um there's people, there's, uh, sorry, people selling and uh, stores selling like uh, game traders in Brisbane. They're uh, 
selling these to upward of around $200 each, depending on like what one you get. Like they've got Pokemon ones, which uh, sell for way more. But yeah, this was 50 bucks, so <laughs> can't complain. Um, and yeah, I bought some games and stuff for crazy cheap. Uh, I've got like the power adapter and the uh, AV cable and everything and it even came with um, a controller which is just in this bag here. I ended up getting two controllers and they're immaculate. Like look at this joystick. It it doesn't even like my one at home is all lopsided. <laughs> like it sits like that permanently but this is just immaculate condition and um, I bought another one, it was only uh, 1500 yen, which is 15 bucks, so you really can't go wrong with that. Um, oops, <laughs> as I say, throwing it down really hard. Um, but yeah, oh, actually, I think... Okay, this is going to be a haul about today, but also a catch-up haul because I've bought some pretty freaking cool stuff recently. So um, yeah, stay tuned if uh, you want to see what I bought today. Um, but I think first I'll show you a couple of things that I recently bought. So uh, I think I'll actually just show you uh, my little cabinet space here filled with all my awesome things. Um, I can't remember if I showed you this Sailor Moon uh, figurines, but yeah, I guess, I guess I'll just show you everything now, um, got a few Pokemon games at the back there, got some Tommy cars, um, some N64 games, excuse me, but, um, yeah, pretty freaking cool, and this spoon, if you're wondering, um, I went to a, an actual magic show bar the other day with my friend in Osaka, um, and yeah, he, I have no idea how he did it, like, this is not like a fake magic spoon or whatever, it's like an actual spoon and he bent it somehow, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, so he gave me that plus another one which is actually still usable, which I use for uh, eating my breakfast, so that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, this is some of the stuff I got. And then up here is a couple more, a couple more Tommy cars. Got some Sailor Moon figurines. Oh, and guys, oh, hang on, it's a bit far. Let me go grab it and I'll show you. Check this out. Zelda, Ocarina of Time, in the original case. And it's got, like, all the original books and just everything. It's, like, immaculate. Uh, it's really hard to do with one hand, but, like, look at this, guys, seriously. Um, and what's even crazier is, like, uh... This was only 800 yen, like, for the whole box with everything in it. 800 yen, and, um, they were selling... They were selling GoldenEye 64 for, like, 6,400 yen, which is, like, $64. So, um, I thought, I thought that was pretty crazy, considering it's, like, the opposite in Australia. Like, Zelda Ocarina of Time can go for anywhere between, like, 80 to $100 plus. And, um... <laughs> It's kind of funny seeing it the opposite, but hey, GoldenEye 64 is one of my favorite games, so um, I have to agree on the with the Japanese with that one. But um, yeah, I also got uh, Mario Super Mario 64 as well um, in the original box. This was also six, I uh, know, 800 yen. Yeah, so eight bucks, original box, original manual, everything. It's oh, I love Japan. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, um, this was the second thing I bought. It's the Sailor Saturn figure arts figurine. Um, I don't know if I say that right, figure arts, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's the Sailor Saturn and it was just, guys, it's just too cheap to give up. I mean, by the time like I ship everything back, it's probably going to cost more, but I mean, who cares? It was so cheap and at least I can say I bought it in Japan, so... Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited, and I might put it up there. I'll organize it later, but... Ah, <laughs> put it there with my other two, so that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, seriously, uh, to all my car friends who have <laughs> been eagerly awaiting for some actual car stuff, um, pr just prepare yourself an extra, like, a spare pair of undies, because, uh, this shit I'm about to show you is just... Oh my god, I'm like excited just thinking about it. It's uh, yeah, let me just show you this. Like, brace yourself, guys, seriously. Holy crap. Look at what I got today. I ended up buying these. Um, I think I, I filmed some stuff 
like I filmed the shop but holy crap guys this is like oh it's such an amazing like spot-on replica and uh I actually <laughs> this one's not for me I bought this for my boyfriend but uh um this is yeah an R32 the Calsonic R32 and uh it's pretty freaking sweet um let me just open the box up for you and I'll, I'll, sh I'll give you a closer look. Okay, so it's actually like properly uh, bolted down in this little box. So um, for the sake of uh, keeping it as safe as possible when I ship it back, I might just leave it in here. But uh, as you can see, this is just immaculate. Like, oh my God, I wanted to buy everything. And like even the interior, look at that shit. It's so cool. Um, hang on, let me just turn it around. But look at that, how awesome is that? So, yes, plus one towards girlfriend points. I'm like the best girlfriend ever, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but yeah, how awesome is that? But uh, guys, pre prepare yourself for the next one I'm going to show you because uh, this this is the cherry on top of the cake, seriously. Watch this. Dun, 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 dun. How freaking cool is this? Like everything from like the interior to the tofu sign it's like oh oh my god I'm like so excited <laughs> um I felt so bad like in the shop I was like fangirling everywhere and going crazy at all the cars and my friends were sort of just like yeah you're a weirdo <laughs> but oh my god guys seriously shout out to my friend Nathan back home he's a uh, probably probably wanting to kill me right about now uh he probably really really wants this but uh yeah um it's oh my god I, I i just don't have the words to describe how awesome this is and um uh, i think i've got the uh name of the no i can't see it but i'll i'll find the name of the shop and uh i'll leave a description in the uh I'll leave a link in the description below uh, if I find the name of the shop. So if you guys are ever around the Nunba area, I uh, highly recommend going to this shop if you're into cars. Um, they have like miniature model cars, they have RC cars, and uh, the funny thing was it was actually, uh, hang on let me just point it at me so you can see me, um, it was actually in a shop called Kids, Kids something, Kids Mart or like Kids Center or something, so I was like, I almost didn't go in because I was just like, uh, should I even, am I even allowed in here? So, um, but yeah, it's in Kids Mart, uh, fourth floor. Um, I'll, I'll find a description, a link anyway and link it in this, in the description for you. So, uh, that was like the highlight of the day for me. So, <laughs> um, but they were quite expensive, I must say, but for the quality, uh, and the sentimental value that it will soon have, it's, you just, you, you it's so worth it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, okay, I'll go on to the last thing that I bought and uh, wrap this video up. And so, yes, this was the last thing I bought today. Uh, it's, uh, it, it doesn't come as near as cool as this, but they were quite, quite cheap. Um, in Australia, these probably go for about 80 bucks. I got this for roughly about 45 Australian, so... And, I mean, who doesn't want the classic red chuck, right? Like, I've, I've always wanted these, so... Um, thought I'd, I'd get them because I wanted, like, a easy to slip on shoe because, like, the whole no shoes indoors and that sort of rule. It just, it just gets really annoying having to take off your boots or take off your high tops or whatever, so... Yeah, I thought I'd get, um... A small uh, like a slip-on sort of shoe and this was perfect and it was a perfect price too so I couldn't go wrong. Someone wanted to join me to say hi and bye so yeah uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed whoops can you see him there you go um, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's vlog oh, I'm, I have to apologize again um, for the lack of content I've just been so busy and I've just got all these videos backed up to edit and um I am trying my best, but uh, hopefully I'll try and get this one up as soon as possible because, like, the daily vlogs don't really take that long to edit. So I'll try and get this up as quickly as possible for you guys. But, yes, I am working on all the other videos I've got there. So hopefully they'll be up soon. But thank you for your ongoing support and uh, being so patient with me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm having a blast. And, yeah, so I, I just wanted to say thank you and uh, hope you enjoyed today. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. And probably Pikachu, you'll see him more too. <laughs> so yeah, thanks again guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!